plates are finished, let's go ahead and evaluate them. We'll start with Ilya's down on the end, Doug. Interesting design. He's got a guard for the blade, which prevents it from going forward. I actually like the feel of the handle. My concern was I can feel all these small laminations around the blade. He's holding my stuff. Are you going to get a lip reading? No, I'm not very good at lip reading. English is my second language. This blade's literally taking itself apart. You can no longer run your hand down this blade. Delaminations on this blade are everywhere, and they're pointing in multiple directions. We had talked about this during the forging process, that constantly going back to the oil. Quenching built a lot of problems into this blade. Mine had the most edge deformation problems, but I'm just going to blame it on unknown steel. That's it. My conscience is clear. I'm fantastic. Jay? I like the overall design. The grip feels good, but we got spots that the edge actually fractured off during the coconut. This knife remains a good chopper, but as a slicer, it doesn't have the edge for it. Let's move on to Tim's blade. Tim was kind of pulling the Hail Mary. I mean, he kind of squeaked into the second round. I know he wanted to leave some mass because he knew we were going to do a coconut chop but it really would have been nice if he had thinned this out because he's got a good piece of steel here by not cleaning up his edge profile. It's just an underperformer. Aesthetically, it's, it's extremely rough. Overall, his steel came out great, but if he had thinned out his edge geometry more, he would have done a lot better in the performance tests. I am bloody flabbergasted that it didn't shatter into a million pieces and send shards into Will's face. I have more confidence in Tim's particular blade construction than I do Ilya's. But it's not sharp enough to cut through the phone book. Had he had time to sharpen this, it wouldn't be a bad blade at all. Last blade. Let's talk about Mike's blade. Well, as far as Mike's blade, this is what I was hoping to say. The steel is clean. No inclusions, no stress fractures. My only issue is the handle. It's very round. It makes it very hard to control. He took lots of time prepping all his metals. That's working smart and working in the right way. Overall, I think it's got good balance to it. There was that issue of the roundness of the handle. If he had made it longer and a little flare there, that would definitely be a weapon, because you could feel that it would balance the blade out. Well, gentlemen, this is a difficult decision, one that I'm happy I don't have to make. Doug, have you made your decision? Yes, I have. Dave? Yeah. Jay? Yes. All right, gentlemen, let's go tell our bladesmiths. I know I need to make a move. I got a big concern right here with Jason. He does not have a glove on. I'm more concerned about my blade than I am burning myself. He's gonna burn his hand. Oh, no. He just burned the heck out of his hand.